Hi guys and girls. In the SQ uh, forum, in the troubleshooting shooting, shooting uh, shower, shower, in the troubleshooting section, was a request or a, a question by a gentleman named Twice, and he's asking about the um, uh, using SBB and coming from Logic ten point five and having some audio into uh, going to the SQ and coming back to record into Logic again. And I wanted to show you how that's done and I hope uh, Mr. Twice you find this um, informative and I hope uh, you can sort things out by this video. Okay and the first side of things we look at uh, Logic Pro. Um, the request was for Logic 1.10.5. Um, I'm on Logic 10.4.8 so I shouldn't be too far off. Um, and first things first you need to choose um, the audio input, the audio device, which is should be SQ Audio. Um, I have a Wave SoundGrid card, and but I've, I've connected the USB B port of the mixer to the USB port of my uh, MacBook, and there's the option SQ Audio as the input and the output devices. So. If you've got that done, uh, you need to go to uh, Project um, Preferences and in Project you have the Audio tab and there you can set the uh, sample rate and sometimes it's on 44.1 uh, and you see it's uh, uh, it's italic, it's it's diagonal, it's it's not straight, you can see. It should be looking like this so now you've got a, a, a sample rate that is coherent with with the board okay those two things need to be done of course your output is um, stereo or one and two and I've prepared an audio track and another one this uh, this empty uh, track is, uh, is will receive the recording from what we played to the board to um, um, I will switch on the metronome and then we should have yeah we have audio going to the board next up now over to the SQ um, you go to the IO screen and that's not the IO screen this is the IO screen and on the inputs you can you go you see these are inputs now this little uh, writing there tells you these are now input sockets ah come on focus it's not focusing believe me it's input socket what's written there you go over to the usb and you can um, patch as many as you want in the new firmware in 1.5 before patching you need to unlock the patching possibility. If you if it's black, it will say, ah, oh, come on, do you really want to? And we say, yes or no? We say, yes, we want to. So another cool little thing I could do if I would have uh, a stand for my, uh, for my uh, uh, camera is to hold down the first one and turn the rotary encoder. Oh, can I do it with one hand? This is very important to test. So, and turn, turn, turn. No, it's not working. So you need two hands for this action. Anyways, so you choose your inputs coming from the USB as those are inputs right now. Okay, second thing, you want to send those back to the board, uh, to you, to, sorry, to Logic, as you said. Go to outputs and we take the um, direct outs. And we go, uh, it would be like this as a default. We go over to USB and we select, for example, one and two, and how many you want to go there to be your outputs. So, neat little thing, as you can see in the top, things that are not patched are light gray, and things that are patched are dark gray. It should be gray, it's not it's looking like bluish on my screen right now, but it is dark gray. Okay, and after all this is set up, oh, yes, 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 sorry, setup is a good word, um, in the audio, I'm on the setup screen right now and right over there is USB and here you can set the sample rate. So it used to be only 69 kilohertz. Now since firmware 1.5 you've got the option to go from 69 to 48 kilohertz and you need to apply if you change something. Oh come on. Focus. 
<gasps> there it is. Okay, great. Um, and out of focus again. I'm not a good cameraman. Excuse me. So let's try it uh, and we'll see what, what's happening. So I'll play my audio file. And we have that one perfectly going. And oh yeah, it's Star Wars Day today. Anyways, and if I hit the record button here, it should record. Uh, it should record. Oh, sorry. This is not the record. This is the record button. Yes. The other one is for aiming the track. And let's see if it records the metronome as well. As you can see, it does. Okay. This is how you do it. Let's check this one. I will mute that one and I will play the new recording and I uh, and as you can and as you can hear where the metronome was switched off there is no and it starts where we switched it on okay everything's fine it works so uh, first things first go to logic and set up the two things preferences audio sq audio there it is and second go to project settings and to audio and set up that it's 48 kilohertz then be sure to have 48 kilohertz in the uh, setup as well go to the io screen inputs use usb inputs the ones you want to uh, have uh, signal from your computer go to outputs and choose from the direct outputs usb which one which uh, the other way around you know what i mean so have a good night and mr twice i hope this is uh, working out for you uh, give me feedback and um, for all your other guys thanks for your patience and um, stay star wars <laughs> oh and I've forgotten one very important thing. You have got two USB connections on the SQ. One in the back, which is the USB-B. And you've got that one here. This is called SQ Drive. And you have to be in the in the correct USB mode. You can't have uh, activated both at the same time. Uh, so if they're in the setup page as uh, USB, if there is written SQ Drive, you will not send anything to Logic. So it should be USB, uh, USB B. Okay, this is very important. Whew. Ah, see you.